so this is a very crucial thing that i want to it's very basic but um i've been mentioning that if t is linear then t of zero is equal to zero let me show why i've been saying this so we know that zero is equal to zero plus zero right this is this is so funny but um just just we just know that right uh, so it means that t of zero is equal to t of zero plus zero right and since t is linear if t is linear what it means is t of zero plus zero is equal to t of zero this side alone i can i can just stop i won't uh all right so this is it but so let me go by this but t of zero plus zero is also equal to t of zero plus t of zero because t is linear right so what can i say it means that i have my t of zero this one being equal to t of zero plus t of zero now let me subtract t of zero from both sides Now t of zero minus t of zero is equal to t of zero because if I subtract, I'm going to be left with one of these. Now what is something minus the same thing? I'm going to have zero, right? So zero is equal to t of zero. So it means that t of zero is actually the zero vector. So in every linear transformation, if t is linear, then the transformation of um, zero is, gives you zero all the time, right? That is that is the reason why we say that t of zero is always equal to zero for every linear transformation all right see you in our next lesson okay.